I'm Travis, and this is Comicsverse. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google, and YouTube. I recently had the opportunity and the honor of attending the global premiere of X-Men Days of Future Past. It was awesome getting to see all the stars walking down the red carpet, got a few autographs, got to uh, see a bunch of really amazing actors, really talented people. Their talent really shines in this movie. Uh, everyone, Jennifer Lawrence, Patrick Stewart, Hugh Jackman, they're all at their best. Uh, this movie doesn't disappoint in any way. The special effects are amazing. We get to see a character named Blink, who's one of the new mutants that they introduce. As always, they're introducing new mutants and new abilities. But Blink's is one of the highlights of the movie for me. She has this amazing ability to set two portals and set pathways and interdimensional paths from one place to another, which, with the camera effects and the angles that they're playing off of, really creates some awesome illusions and really cool angles from which we're now viewing the universe in a whole new and unique way. We also get to see Sunspot, who's got your uh, kind of firepower is very similar to the Human Torch. And we also see uh, Warpath, who, because they don't really delve into these new mutants too much because they're in the future, which we don't spend too much time in, we don't really get too much of a backstory. And it was unclear what exactly his mutant ability is. Uh, he can see things from very far away. So we learn that uh, when he's coming up against some Sentinels in the future, which look pretty unrealistic. They're a little fantastic, but they're so powerful. And the fights that they're in are so cool that it's really easy to forgive the sort of belief that you have to uh, suspend. But the overall story is just great. Um, it, most of it is a first class movie. Hugh Jackman as Wolverine is getting sent back in the past, which is different from the comic book where Kitty Pride is sent into the past. But he's sent back into the 1970s and we're getting to see a lot of stuff happening in the 70s. A lot of history that the X-Men, it turns out, have been secretly woven into this whole time. So we get to see Magneto and some of his crimes. We get to see some mutants in the Vietnam War. And the way that all these mutants interact with history really sets a really cool tone to the movie that no other Marvel movie really seems to match. We got a little bit of alternate past with Captain America, but that was so over the top that it seemed unbelievable and fit into its own universe, while this X-Men universe seems to tie into our own, which is really cool. Um, what could be a little bit better about it is just simply the development of those new mutants. We didn't really get to see a whole lot of them. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more, but they're not really the point, so I can kind of forgive it. The story is really focused in the first class universe, and that story does not disappoint. We get to see Quicksilver. He's another new mutant, and he probably had my favorite scene in the entire movie. That's another scene where the special effects really uh, shine, and Brian Singer's direction is at its finest. The story overall, just phenomenal. It really unites the universes of X-Men and the first class universe in a really masterful way. We get to see the way these timelines weave, and though there are still a few inconsistencies that exist between the timelines, they can be almost completely forgiven because by the end of the movie, they may have arguably been written out. So we get a little bit of a uh, questionable timeline playing here. I'm sure that'll be uh, something to be discussing in the upcoming months after the movie, and we'll see what goes on in Age of Apocalypse. There's a really cool teaser at the end of the credits. Not going to give anything away, but uh, I can't wait. Um, the only thing that uh, I could say about this movie is you have to go see it. Brian Singer returns, he's at his best, and X-Men 1, 2, and now this movie, definitely my top three. Um, I can't even pick a particular order, they're all so great. You have to go see them. Um, again, <laughs> I'm Travis, and this is Comicsverse.